As far as rappers go, my next guest is pretty out of the ordinary. Yes, he's had top 10 singles, including songs with Emily Sandy and Lily Allen, but he's also made a name for himself as a mental health campaigner. Now, four years after he was last in the charts, Professor Green is back making music. So as I say, the last four years, it hasn't been about the music at all. It has, no. you've been off doing really powerful documentaries, you've yeah. been on our, our TVs, mm -hmm. um, but the music is now back. Yes, yeah, I, you know, I think it was in just over three years, I did seven films back to back, and it was amazing because I got to shine a light on things that we often, you know, shove onto the carpet. Yeah, And things that, that, you know, surrounded by loads of taboo. But at the end of that three years, I had to put myself back in a place that made me happy. You know, I had to find my outlet again. Um, so I took myself away from everything for a little while and started making music and I started having a lot of fun with it again. And here we are, back releasing records. Exactly. And did it start to flow quite naturally? Yeah. Yeah, it just yeah. started to happen. It's again. scary at the moment. I don't even want to question why or how, but every time I go into the studio, I'm coming out with something really exciting. And that's a really good place for me to be. It's kind of, it becomes self-perpetuating because the happier I am, the more that I create, the more I create, the happier I am. And the whole idea behind the song Count On You is about having that someone to count on. Because I always spend a lot of time on working on the ideas. I worked on this video with Simon Emmett, who mm. I was, I'm fortunate to work with. Um, and it's a really good way to engage people. Yeah. You know, and it's nice to bring some soul back as well. When people hear the song, you know, they're going to hear... It, it, there's it a slightly out different from sound, else. isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a, very, it's a relaxed, fun sound, yeah. I think, which is obviously where you're at. I feel pretty chilled out. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's good, as it should be, <laughs> as it should be. But do you, do you think, would you consider yourself to be unlucky in love? No, not at all. I think everything is, it sounds cliche to say everything's a lesson, but the fact that I'm still, you know, just about young enough and healthy enough to potentially find that one person, I think <laughs> I'm in quite a fortunate place. And I think learning what you don't want goes hand in hand with what you, what you do want. So yeah, I, feel yeah. pretty, I feel pretty fortunate, yeah. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. But we, we, we talk about your huge ambassador for mental health mm -hmm. and, and, and having been away for the four years doing all yeah. of these films. I'm sure the people still want to talk to you about what you did on screen. I mean, yeah. the, the documentary about suicide was just hugely powerful. Yeah. Um, I'm, it's difficult when people still want to talk about it to you, it's I guess. It's really difficult. So like the other day, you I can't was give just, them the answers. I was just walking my dog, and someone said thank you for making the film, which is, you know, it's, it's bittersweet because the only reason people say thank you for making the film is because they've in some way been affected by it. It's difficult, but all I can do in that situation is just try and point people in the right direction, mm -hmm. which is, I suppose, a lesson for everyone watching. It is. You know, and you can't help everybody. Which is what the film everybody. was about, wasn't yeah, it? It's exactly. It's really just pointing people in the right direction. And that you're not alone. Can find help. Yeah. yeah. No, of course, of course. But you are, in fact, today filming uh, another documentary film. No, aren't today you? is my first. It's me dipping my toe into the water of acting. Yes. Um, so it's a film to, to highlight Alzheimer's. Um, it's called Ethel, which is funny because my. One of my dog's names is Ethel. Um, Your beloved dog. I'm using my telephone voice. Her name's Ethel. That's how <laughs> <laughs> it's called Ethel. My dog's name's Ethel. Yeah, but um, yeah, the film is to. Oh, that's Arthur. I call him Arthur Sleep. He's got a world droopy face. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's. I can't really tell you too much about it because it would ruin the twist. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's nice to be able to do something to highlight something as important as Alzheimer's. No, is that something you'd like to do more of? Would you like to it's, ask? Do you know what? I yes, but at the moment, quite selfishly, I, I feel like I need to continue my journey with music because that's what's making me happy. And I can't do all this work for mental health and raising awareness uh, and trying to remove the stigma and taboo that surrounds it without actually looking after my own mental health. No, of course. Which of I've course. been guilty of in the past. Yeah, of course. And just, and you can't tell us very much, so I won't ask you, but there is a new series, Celebs in Solitary, coming mm -hmm. up later on in the year, where there was just a digital detox. The phone went away. Everything went away. And Absolutely. It just, and it just worked for you? It was me in a room, and that's all I can tell you. But and what happened in that room, you'll have to wait to we see. We will have yeah. to watch. Okay.